guys, welcome to the Craft Beer Channel. Uh, it's been a while since we did a beer cocktail and we've got a really, really special one for you today. Uh, we're down at Merchant House in suited and booted city of London. So I'm here with Lewis of London Bar Consultants. Uh, it's morning, so tell me our first beer cocktail is not going to be that outrageous. It is, oh. I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, awesome. What have you got for us? Uh, so we're going to be playing around with some stout, some Old Tom gin and some gingerbread syrup, throwing it all together, making a very classic style cocktail that they would have drunk along the Thames in cold winter nights when the sort of the times when the Thames would freeze over. Yeah. They would be drinking stout and gingerbread and, and this old Tom Jim was what London was crazy for at that at that time. So we've thrown it all together and it's a pretty tasty, frothy, dark cocktail. Sounds incredible, sounds wintry. Let's knock it up. So where do we start? Okay, so it's a shaken cocktail and once it's shaken we're gonna throw it into this nice copper pot here. I'll see. Um, first ingredients uh, is a gingerbread syrup. You can mm -hmm. buy it online or you can make it at home. We've made this one. Just throw in some spices, ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove. And then just like demerara sugar and water. You got it, right. really, really simple. So we're gonna throw in about 20 mils of this, just short of a, of a shot. That's going straight in there. And then our next ingredient, as we said, is an Old Tom gin, any Old Tom you can get. Old Tom. What's the difference between an Old Tom and a you know, gin like Bombay Sapphire? Pretty simple, Old Tom was the, sort, was the style of gin they were drinking in, in and around the 18th century in London. Uh, it's sweeter or it's more floral in its style, so it's just got that little bit, it works better with sort of sweeter style yep. cocktails. Um, so I'm gonna do um, 40 mils of this. Okay, so that's double the gin, double the syrup. Just going to shake it, so it's nice and uh, mixed mix through. Good action. How'd you get that off so easy? Uh, Never works for me. Done it a few times. <laughs> <laughs> she probably has. Pour that straight into there. Oh, I can smell the gin. Now, starring roll. For the beer! Some stout, please. Your time to shine. So, uh, we got Dirty Stop Out, which is by Tiny Rebel uh, in Wales, and this is. A very sweet stout, uh, made with oats, but then it's also been smoked. Because why not? <laughs> um, they call it Dirty Stop Out because it's like a night out. It's smoky and s sweet. Don't quite get that one. But smoky and dark. Sweet. Like a night out in Cardiff. Nice large measure of this. Obviously it's going to froth up a little bit. And then we're going to mix that through. Didn't want to shake it with that because obviously the froth would just go... It wouldn't be, wouldn't be quite so pretty, yeah, would it? The, 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 the top would probably come off of itself. Exactly. <laughs> Bit of fresh ice on the top there. It's quite a cold drink for winter. They would traditionally have this hot, so you would, oh, okay. you would literally take a, a, an iron from the fire, throw it into it, and it would froth up. Oh, right. um, Amazing. You'd need love, a big old cup to throw an iron in, though. <laughs> <laughs> you would. Um, but uh, yeah, obviously, ours working quite well on ice. Um, so, pour some onto the side here. This is me cheating a little bit. You can just whisk this up. Um, but this is just going to give it a nice, consistent head on onto the top of the drink. What? Who designed? Was, is that designed for frothing up beer? Frothing up milk beer. <laughs> Obviously. Yes, yeah, so you could just use a whisk if you didn't have a, a weird dental bit it, of equipment. It, exactly. Yeah. And then, so, spoon, and we're literally just frothing this out onto the top here. And this froth on the top just sits on the top here so that it releases all the aroma, so the mm -hmm. smokiness is coming off. And it's, then it's just going to be much lighter and then you're going to drink through that light frothiness and then get the hit of the Creamy sweet. sweetness. Exactly. Um, and just to finish it off, just because we can, a um, little bit of dusting of the spices that we've thrown into the syrup. We're okay. just going to layer those on the top as well. And then we have it. That's our hodge. It. It smells like Christmas. <laughs> Yeah, that's delicious. That's so. Di I didn't expect it to be that drinkable with gin and gin and stout. Like we made a dog's nose, and it's rough as hell, basically. Yeah, and this is yeah. so smooth. It's a really, really easy drinking cocktail. Yeah, you just get a little bit of hint, uh, a little hint of gin. <laughs> it's a really hard thing to say, especially if you probably had two or three of these. Just get that little hint of gin, that sort of dries it out a little bit. Yeah. So even cold, that is absolutely delicious. Um, we can't recommend throwing an eye in. Particularly now they're electric, mostly. Uh, so just enjoy this cocktail warm. It's absolutely stunning uh, and a great use of a really lovely beer. Uh, we've got a couple more videos coming up with Lewis, so uh, check those out soon.